Welcome to Tuesday's Tactics, and this is just something new I'm trying out. Uh, I've been doing some periscopes about this, and the podcast actually has a little bit more in-depth information about the how and the why of what I'm sharing on the Tuesday Tactics uh, periscopes and videos share. So what this episode is about is sweating to death, literally, why it's important to sweat heavily. And I'm going to share some really cool science behind this, but to give you the bullet points right away, those people who use saunas, researchers have found, tend to live longer and, and die from all-cause mortality. What that means is if you take all things that, that kill people, whether it's heart disease, cancer, things like that, people who use, a sauna, use sauna on a regular basis tend to die less or live longer. It says the same thing. It's just a different way of wording it, uh, scientific uh, nomenclature, so to speak. And so... What they found studying a large group of Finnish men, and actually they tracked these men over 20 years, is that those who sauna on a regular basis and for longer periods of time live longer. And what defines that is that those who sauna at least four times a week, four to seven times a week, which is every day obviously, live longer. They have less problems with heart disease and stroke. And also those that sauna for about 15 minutes or longer tend to have the the better odds of living longer and, and less chance of dying from heart attack and stroke and some of the big killers. And so it might, might might sound counterintuitive. You think of going into a hot sauna as really kind of being a strain on the heart and cardiovascular system. And, and that was sort of the common thinking for many years in the medical realm where I live and practice. But that's actually counter and proven counter. Uh, there was a study, I believe, in Japan uh, or China, I can't recall, but there are several studies that actually took patients who had heart failure where the heart's just not pumping, not working, and they exposed them to saunas, uh, really high temperature saunas, much, much higher than, than I can generate in my own sauna. And they sat in the sauna for 15 minutes, and after that, they laid down and drank water, hydrated, and rested for a period of about 30 to 60 minutes. And those people actually improved the ability of their heart to pump and function and lessen the symptoms of heart failure, which if you've ever had any experience knowing a family member or a friend or a patient who's had a heart failure, it's literally drowning in your own fluids and secretions. It's, it's a horrible, a horrible disease. And so that's the cool part about sauna. And I'm going to share a few other things about sauna that uh, I find particularly useful. We know that there are a boatload of entire environmental toxins, somewhere between 8,000 and 80,000, depending on who you, you read and what sources you cite. You can check the environmental working group if you really want to get a hard core number on that. But that's not really relevant. What's relevant is that an infrared sauna really is a simple way to detox your body from some of the what are called POPs. They're persistent organophosphate. They're pesticides. They're poisons. They're in the environment. They're in the water, the soil. They get sprayed on our food. And so by using an infrared sauna, we can allow the body to sort of detox some of these toxic elements which disrupt our metabolism, our energy, and a whole host of other things. They're actually what are called endocrine disruptors. And what that means is that it affects estrogen and testosterone and just messes up the body's natural balance, which we know that abnormal amounts of estrogen increase risk for a variety of cancers, breast cancer and even prostate cancer in men. So it's critically important to know about that as the toxin load just continues to build up as more and more chemicals are dumped into the environment in an effort to uh, propel our food production to uh, record numbers. That's part of the issue. Um, the other thing is there's a way to sort of hack the use of the sauna. It's the way that I use it, and I use niacin. Niacin is a B vitamin, actually, but it's been shown to be beneficial for cholesterol. But what it does is a side effect, and it's it's sort of an unpleasant side effect if, if you're not used to it or you don't expect it, but it causes flushing. And I'm not just talking about a little bit of redness in the cheeks. I'm talking full body flushing, like feel feels like a sunburn, depending on the dose taken. You can start slow and work up towards a, a more robust dose. I personally uh, take between 250 and 500 milligrams at a time, and I take it about half hour to an hour before I sauna. That allows the uh, flushing, which is actually dilation of the blood vessels to occur. And it just sort of accelerates the sweating process, the detoxing process. And so I can get more uh, bang for my time when I'm sitting in the sauna. So that's just one way to, to hack that. And uh, there's a whole lot of other things I'll share in upcoming episodes about detoxing, some simple supplements that uh, can be used by 
uh, people to help bind up some of the toxins and help get them out. So that's wrapping up the Tuesday tactics portion. I'd love to hear your feedback. Just shoot me a message on Twitter at Dr. Mitchell MD. Uh, as you know, I've disabled the comments on the blog, just all the spam and, and crap that's showing up there. I just don't have time to, to weed through thousands of comments to find the one question. So reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook at Mitchell MD. I'd love to interact and answer your questions. And uh, leave a review. That helps this get found and uh, share this information with other people. And if you're interested in the video portion of it, you can find me on Periscope. I usually uh, shoot videos uh, from different locations, uh, when I travel or from doing something uh, out of the outside of norm for my typical day as a physician. So that's it. We'll talk to you soon.